Warning, this video is going to be everywhere. 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 You've been warned. <sighs> Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my second video of Real Talk. Um, I just want to start off first by saying I hope you guys had happy holidays, happy new year, Christmas, whatever you celebrate, I hope it was happy and that you got some time to spend time with the friends and family and all that jazz. So yes, I will address the background situation. I am actually filming downstairs in my basement. We did just finish painting it or we're almost done painting it and it's kind of set up better than it was before. So I just figured why not take my tripod downstairs and film here since my room's lighting is stupid and I don't think this is much better but I don't have a viewfinder so I don't know. You guys let me know or I guess I'll figure it out when I edit the video. <laughs> Oh, anyway, um, I just filmed a tutorial on this face, so if anybody wants to know what it is, um, you'll see it soon. And yeah, so let's get on to this real talk. So this week's real talk is going to be about relationships, um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, yeah, so I figured I would talk about this just because around the holidays, I personally get super, super sad. Um, before it was not that way. <laughs> um, it's been like that for the past few years though because as I got older, I would be in relationships and I would have people to spend the holidays with, or so I thought. And instead of spending time with them, they were with somebody else and drunk calling me and ruining my life. So yes, um, basically I'm just gonna talk about how to deal with that. Dealing with relationships or the lack of a relationship. So yes, I am currently single. Um, and my heart is taken. Yeah, I'm one of those cornballs. Um, but I mean, it is what it is. It's so true, you cannot help who it is that you fall in love with. It's like crazy. Um, I thought I was in love once before, but I wasn't. And I think that this time though, I'm like, I've found the person I am madly in love with, but it's just not gonna work out that way. So I have to focus on loving myself before committing to loving another person. So yeah, and there you go. That's the biggest thing that you have to remember is that you need to love yourself before you can try to love somebody else. Um, you need to be good on your own before you can try to be good with someone else. And I kind of did it ass backwards because I've never, I, I mean, you know, I'd have to really explain my entire life story. And I'm sure throughout the years of me having a YouTube channel, you guys will get to know my life story. But at this current moment, I will spare you the boredom. Um, but I have not had the greatest life. And I don't think that anybody has really had the best life. But in terms of relationships and all that stuff, it's never really been smooth sailing for me or so, you know, I've noticed. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try not to cry because this hurts my feelings. Uh, regroup. <laughs> um, relationships are nice to be in. They are just, they're fun, they're great, they're, they make you feel a part of something because you know it's a relationship it's two damn people i mean unless you live someplace where there's more than two people whatever floats your boat but yeah um <laughs> but it really sucks like you start thinking relationships when you break up from one and you get hurt really badly now from experience i can totally talk about heartbreak because and this is not me being emo or super like feeling sorry for myself but I honestly can say that throughout my entire life I have felt heartbreak and heartache multiple times over and I think it's because I've had all this faith in people that they weren't total douche lords and they totally were Whew. breathe girl breathe it's not time to be sad okay so dealing with breakups um we recently, blah, 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 blah. would it be recent? I don't know. I guess we've broken up so many times after like the first real breakup because he cheated on me. Ugh. I don't even want to get into this. 
but I will for the sake of people asking me how to really deal with relationships and breakups and stuff. So yeah, um, but that relationship caused my anxiety and depression to surface like nobody's business to the point where yes, I am taking medication for it. No, I have not taken it, taken it in a while, but I am going to get back on it because I slowly feel myself slipping away and that's never any good. So I'm trying to do these little things to pick myself back up off the ground so that I don't fall into that deep hole. I literally felt like the egg in Zoloft where there's like the hole in the ground. But anywho, so yeah, dealing with breakups. They hurt, they suck. And you might feel like you did something wrong, but I highly doubt that you did. I mean, unless there's those instances where you just know you did some fucked up shit, like cheated on somebody. Then I don't want you to watch this video because you suck. Okay, you suck and I hate cheaters. They are disgusting people who are insecure and selfish and I just, ugh, I hate you. Get off of my page. But, um, yes, for those of us who have hearts and who have feelings and who get them broken so many damn times, I know it feels like it's the end of the world. I wanted to kill myself multiple, multiple times and now I will get some shit on this like, you wanted to kill yourself over a guy? Swerve, bitch. Nobody was trying to kill themselves over a guy. Because you don't know my story, you want to label it as that? Go right ahead. But don't bring that shit to my page or my Instagram or anything like that. And that was my issue with having my videos up before. People didn't know the whole story before they judged. And no, I'm not going to tell you the whole fucking story. All you need to know is my heart was broken multiple times and it was a very shitty situation. And that's that. Now that we've gotten ballsy. Um, so yes, how do you deal with it? I'll tell you how I dealt with it. I cried, I cried, I cut myself, I tried to commit suicide, and where am I right now? I'm alive, I'm here. Am I happy that I'm here? Hells yes. Does the breakup still hurt my feelings? Hell yes. Every single day, because it's recent. Within the last year is when all of this stuff has happened. So for me to be where I am right now and being able to sit in front of this camera physically and tell you that it does get better, that is the biggest accomplishment I think I've ever had in the year 2013. Granted, we're in 2014 now, but I've been trying to make this video for a very long time. Um, I am in a much better place while I'm still not a hundred percent because it is still a struggle every single day. Um, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it just does get better, okay? Like, don't feel like you can't talk to somebody. Like, I'm telling you, even if you don't know me from a fucking hole in the wall, I am here for you. This is also a main reason why I wanted to start my channel was because I didn't feel like there was anybody out there who I could talk to who would understand my situation when I needed somebody to. And so I want to put myself out there to let people know that I am here for you. I am the shoulder you can cry on. If you live close by me and you want to meet up and you want to go out to lunch or something or you just want to hang out and get your mind off the shit, please let me know. Like. I am just, I'm there for people because people weren't there for me. So I try to change, not really change history, but I don't want it to repeat. So I'm doing shit differently on my own terms, the way that I possibly can. And it's by showing people that I'm there for them. So whoever you are, if you're feeling really down, you're feeling like there's just nothing that's going to ever get better, please contact me. It's not worth it. Don't hurt yourself. I have scars for the rest of my life on my arms, my legs, my stomach, everywhere, literally everywhere. And it's not worth it. It's just not. At some point in time, you will find yourself or you will find that strength that you need to you know build yourself back up even though it doesn't even seem like it's in reach like I literally cry every single day because I have so much more strength than I ever thought I ever would have had like when I was in the psychiatric hospital there you go you know that about me for a week um my life was over I was done I just didn't I didn't want to 
I didn't want to live anymore. So I was there, but then seeing how other people were around me and how they are a hell of a lot more crazy than I was, I was like, get me the fuck out of here. Please, just let me be in my room. Let me cry if I need to. I don't want to kill myself now. Like, this is some really crazy shit because you don't want to be in that environment again. Whew! It was bad. Really, really bad. Um, and that place just let me see that people have it so much worse. Even though you're feeling a lot worse than all that shit might look, trust me, those feelings at some point, they're not going to go away, but they're going to die down. Die down to the point where you realize there's so much more to life. And I'm really not trying to quote a Stacey Arico song. I promise. So yes, um, but yeah, just basically, I guess all of this is to say like, there's somebody out there who knows exactly what you're going through and I am one of those people who can understand your situation even if I'm not in it because I give fucking bomb advice I just don't know how to take it and I think that's what happens with the best advice givers they can't take their own advice but um, I'm the kind of person I'm not gonna tell you how to feel I'm not gonna tell you what to feel I'm not gonna tell you that your feelings are stupid but I am going to tell you things that I think you would need to hear to guide you to where you're thinking about yourself because you would be I know I was surrounding myself too much around this person I literally built an entire life around being with him and it wasn't just me in my head with this shit because that's just fucking nuts but we were or what I thought we were on the same page apparently we weren't he was not ready for it and I should have known because I don't date guys younger than me for a fucking reason like since I was six I've been told I'm way too old for my fucking age like mentally mature I'm just it's ugh. Ah, it's insane <laughs> but yeah so I should have just but I didn't want to judge you know based on just age because the conversations I had with him they weren't a conversation you'd have with somebody of that age <laughs> but uh, hey he was a fucking good liar so now we're not talking we are not friends I'm not friends with his sister who technically introduced us who used to be my best friend but I'm not gonna get into that because it's not what this video is about but I just want you guys to know that breakups suck but they really do get better um and I am here for you if you feel like it's not gonna get better because I've been where you are my friend I have been there and I've been down in the ground buried and just really felt like giving up I have tried to give up but after multiple suicide attempts um, I'm still here therefore I'm here for a reason and I'm now realizing that my reason for being here is for other people like to give them the support that they need that I never had that I needed so yeah um i hope this isn't too long of a video i hope it has a point i hope you guys were able to take something from it even if you're already in a relationship and you're like yo my shit's fucking golden like i don't need to be listening to this be mindful of the people that are around you and what you're putting up on certain places because seeing congratulations you have a boyfriend or you have a girlfriend you guys are making out oh, I love my babe look at what babe got me bae oh my god like that's fucking great but you have no idea what your followers or whatever what those people are going through and the slightest thing can set somebody off to want to kill themselves I know what happened to me so I'm just saying be mindful I'm not saying live your life around the people who are at a sensitive place right now but just be mindful okay if you wouldn't want that to be done to you don't do it to others like that's just fucking common rule of I don't know we learned that in kindergarten and Sunday school just don't be an asshole be mindful of your surroundings Ugh. so with that being said I believe this video is over my feet are falling asleep and this is why I don't film Indian style I'm too big for that shit but yeah Ugh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this background, let me know because then I'll probably find a setup down here.
hopefully my mom will let me do that and yes so i love you guys so much thanks so much for watching follow me on instagram and twitter and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave any requests or anything down below i love you guys so much and i'm close to a thousand subscribers and i'm going to have a bomb ass giveaway like i just ordered all this shit so i'm just waiting for it to come so i can actually show you guys hopefully i'll be able to do that but yes, I love you all, each and every one of you, and thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. It means the world to me. So yes, love you. Bye.